Hi, I'm Smita from the Paper Bloom Singapore. Today I'll show you how to make the center for the Icelandic poppies. So this is the normal tissue that I have I'm using, the facial tissue. I have cut it into half and I'm just folding it into a thin strip. I'm just rolling it and making it thinner. Then I will just apply some glue to the edge and I will seal this. So once you, find, you form a thick strip, I'll use a floral wire which is 18 gauge and I will just make a loop in this fix this inside and then press it so that the center remains in place and it will not fall off once that is done I can start gluing the whole strip around the floral wire you can take uh, the length of the tissue as much as uh, the required size of the center you can make it smaller or bigger whatever you like just turn it around and make a round shape Once this is done, I normally use a green floral tape to cover up this. I, we need to just cover up the white portion. So once this is done, you can just try and shape it because it is flexible. It is quite soft, not very hard because it is only tissue. So you can just mold it into a proper shape. Once that is done, you can use a yellow tape. And then stretch it a little bit twist it twist it to make a round shape Allow. it should look like a thread so if you are making multiple poppy centers then you can just uh, Cut longer one and then use the remaining for the next poppy flower. Hold it, turn it around, again hold it from the bottom, turn it around. You have to keep holding it from the uh, bottom so that this does not slip away. So this is the center. Once you get this, you can cut the remaining, use it for the next one. Now you use the green tape to again, to make it gluey, you have to keep stretching the tape. So 
this is how it is done. To give this a, a shape, so in between these two gaps, you just press a little bit to give it a natural shape. It will help it to stay firm and it will not move. So that's it. This is the center. Now for the fringe around the center. This is 12 cm by 3 cm yellowish green strip. I will stretch it a little bit. Fold it. and then cut it. I usually like to use the fring fringing scissors for cutting the fringes. It's much easier and faster. So you can just make fringe. Don't cut it across the paper. It's just around half to three fourth of the paper. This is done. Okay, let's turn it and squash it a little bit. Open it, and then each one of the the fringes you can just twist it a bit. So to give it a more natural look, I usually uh, paint the tips like this. I paint it yellow so that it gives a more natural look to the center. So once the fringe is made and you can paint it later also, you can paint it before uh, making the flower. Put some glue at the tip, not at the fringe then, it should be at the other end. put it around the center hold it tightly from the bottom and keep turning the floral wire round You can keep collecting the paper at the bottom, make a, a sort of pleats at the bottom. And that's it. This is how your center will look. You have to allow this to dry properly. So hold it tightly from below and let it dry. So this is the fringe of the flower of Icelandic poppy with uh, using the floral wire and the paper. So now for the petals, what we have is in the kit, you have been given three small petals and three large petals. 
the size of the small petals is 12 cm by 6 cm and the, that of the large is uh, 15 cm by 6 cm so 12 cm is the length you have to be careful with the grain the grain should always be vertical whenever you're creating uh, any of the flowers it shouldn't be uh, horizontal it should be vertical so collect the petals together align it these are the small ones align all the petals properly and then give it a round shape you have to just give it a round shape yeah. so these are the small petals of Icelandic poppy you don't want the flower to look very symmetrical and very uniform that is why I gave a little bit of curves above so this you can keep aside similarly with the larger petals align them you can uh, cut multiple stacks because this uh, paper of Leah Griffith is extra fine and uh, that is the advantage that you can have multiple stacks of paper together and then it is easier to cut also so similarly you uh, as you did in the smaller ones you can do for the bigger one give it a small curved shape So once you are done with the small and big petals of the Icelandic poppy, uh, I'll show you how to actually crease the uh, petals. You can use uh, pan pastels. These are the pan pastels. Uh, so uh, there I use a little bit of contrast in any of the petals that I make so if I'm using light pink I like using a little darker shade so this is how I use my pan pistons you can do it on both the sides So this is how you slide the paper, make creases with your thumb and the index finger. Collect it and then twist it. That is one petal, then this is the second one. So once you have done with all the petals, you have to open it up. You have to see that the curved part should be at the top. So correct, open the correct, open it correctly. Because the other side will be straight. This is round. Okay? So in the round side, <coughs> sorry, in the straight edge, just put a little bit glue. it together to make it a fan shape petal you can use the same method for the second small petal
so once you are done with all the six petals you can start gluing it normally i like to allow them to dry but we don't have much time so let's continue i will try and make this thinner Once I make it a bit thin, I can start gluing the small petals first. These three are large, these three are small. So once you, one, two and three small. Hold the petal from the top, stick it right at the bottom, hold it tightly. Second petal should overlap the first one a little bit. Similarly, hold it from the water and press it. Continue with the third petal. You can either use two, two in each uh, layer, it, which means the four petals for isolating poppy, or you can use six petals. These uh, larger ones will go at the base. flower and see wherever you can find gap or you think there's more space you can just press the petal over there so some part of it is overlap so this is how the bees will look and this is the top once you're satisfied with the kind of flower you have made you can use uh, the green floral tape to cover the floral wire and the base to use the floral wire always stretch it a little bit and then turn it around the base holding it tightly turn the flower as you are putting the tape Stretch it while you are putting it, otherwise it is going to come out. Right, so once you are satisfied, you can just turn it and put the tape across the whole wire. Yeah, so this is our Icelandic poppy. So next step, I will be showing you how to make carnations.